participate. Um, why don't you share with us a little bit about uh, last week's conversation with Mr. Michael Valdez and, and how all that came through and what, what you took away from that conversation? Absolutely. I, you know, last call, if you guys weren't here, we actually interviewed Michael Valdez. He is our global director, or I think what would be the, there's another the, title, I always forget. He's our chief growth officer at EXP. There we go. Chief growth officer. I love that. So uh, he was just explaining to us how easily it is to grow in any other country. He was sharing to us the stories of how we have been able to create opportunities, just like India. You know, he had somebody come to him and, and really thank him for wanting to expand in India because now they are able to bring opportunity to a country where these agents were not making that type of money. Same like Mexico. We all know how Mexico is in real estate. A lot of these agents are barely getting 40, 50 percent of their commission. Now with EXP, you're able to make 75 percent. So that is just an extraordinary opportunity. And so it was nice to hear Michael speak about how everything started and where we are at now um, you know, I believe we only started with, I think, three or five countries, and now we have overexpanded that. So it's really nice to see to see the growth. What about you, Joe? What did you like about that conversation? Yeah, yeah, same as you, Jazz. Um, you know, anytime you get a chance to speak with somebody of Michael Valdez's caliber, a gentleman that's built, you know, um, companies internationally, like some of the most reputable in the world. Uh, and to have them be part of our our group and our alignment here is is just it's unthinkable, really. Um, and so having having uh, that collaboration piece with him and seeing what his vision looks like for the growth of this company is next next level. Uh, but let's definitely turn it over to Mr. Leo Robles. I see we got let's go one and only Mr. Brent Gove in the house. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> welcome, 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 Brent. Thank you so much for being on, man. Appreciate you, Jazz. Thank you for being here as well, Joseph. Thank you, guys. So we already have a lot of guests here that are listening in. So thank. I just want to say thank you guys all for being here today. You guys are in for a treat. Last week, we had a great conversation with Michael Valdez. This week, we I wanted to bring you guys the greatest example of somebody that has built a global organization, over 40,000 agents strong worldwide. Wow. And uh, he's, he's uh, you know, he'll share a little bit of story because I, I want you guys to get to know, you, many of you know Brent already, but I want I wanted to share a story. But uh, he was at REMAX before. Keller Williams has been here at EXP for almost six years now. And uh, he's, he's, been a, he's been the trailblazer of the company. So you guys are going to be in for a treat. So welcome, Mr. Brent Go. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, buddy. Great to be here. Hello, hello. You guys all look fantastic. Good to hey. see you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Baby. So I think we should just kick it off, man. I, I want everybody to get related and connected to Brent, right? And and uh, share your share a little bit of a brief background about yourself, and then we'll get into the global conversation, how you've been able to build in every single state and every single country here at EXP. Absolutely. Let me start with something super important. You guys ready? This is the key to happiness and success. You're on the edge of your seat. Dad, can you get me a cup of coffee? <laughs> that was it. It's coffee. <laughs> coffee is the key. Like, if, if you don't like coffee, I don't know if you and I are going to get along. Tea. But, you know, you two drinkers, I love you. But, you know, I don't know. Anyways, I, I'm not having a cup of coffee today. It's really unusual for me. It's a one o'clock, no coffee. It's Friday. I've been playing, running errands this morning. But man, good to see you guys. And, and good to so see you as well. This. Let's do this. So yeah. a little bit about me, yeah. um, 13 years at Remax and then nine years at Keller Williams and loved my time at Remax, loved my time at Keller Williams, found EXP, believe it or not, next month makes seven years, Leo, seven wow. years, October, end of October. I joined October 21st. Do you know the day you joined your brokerage? I do, because it was that profound. Remax was incredible. Keller Williams was incredible. Just 100 exit for the whole EXP experience. It's been amazing. And when I say incredible, I learned to sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes each year at Remax. I followed that up at Keller Williams. I ended up selling thousands and thousands and thousands of homes. But what does that make me for the next 30 or 40 years or my children's children? 
nothing. You know, Pop, who's right over there, you know, 45, 50 year real estate career as a broker. You want to see him? He's real. Yeah, I'll show you that. <laughs> here he is. Right here. There's my dad, everybody, and my good friend, Hi. Mr. Go from Atlanta. <laughs> you, flew in. No, my dad awesome there. <laughs> This is your future. You guys keep selling homes. And he's a, it's not a bad future. He's an office man. But look at this. He's, he's been very successful. And uh, I love my dad. But, but here's the deal. You know, Pop, you, you retired 10 years ago from Cobalt Banker, right? Well, yeah. 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 And he's been helping me at EXP and stuff. But how much is Cobalt? Can we move the TV? Let's just pull this thing off. Just it's blocked. I can't see those guys. Throw it on the ground. Thank you, Rob. Thank you so much. So um, there's a giant monitor between me and my dad. We couldn't have that. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Dad, I mean, 45 years, you, you closed your last escrow with Cobalt Banker. Have they ever sent you a dollar bill since that day? Uh... <laughs> No, no, he says no. Not, a, not that, even no. a dollar bill. Not, not even, even a dollar bill. bill. Yeah, so <laughs> you're talking about decades and decades and decades and decades of being top. He wasn't like a schlep. My mom and dad, I go down to the Cobalt Banker office. They were number one, number two, maybe number three on the leaderboard. My whole life, my parents were were top top real estate brokers and profound. I grew up in a real estate family. My kids are third generation. I'm second generation. They wasn't that they didn't do well, but here's the deal. If we said invest your money and after decades and decades of investing money, you'll make nothing the rest of your life. And, and it's like, we never really think about it. We're just too busy. You know, when's my next escrow closing? How many do I have in the pipeline? How many clients do I have? You know, how many leads do I have in my database? And that's great, but they're not leads. They're human souls. And when you treat people yes. with love and respect, not as a lead, as some yeah. sort of a, a metric, but as, as, a, as a somebody who wants a home and wants to raise a family and wants to live in a new school district or get to that city or move up, and they want to do well too. And when they know that you care, you will go to a whole new level in your business. Tony Robbins says, do your clients know you love them? Mm. And that could sound mm. cool, but I'm telling you what, the, the, the agents who succeed at a high level, their clients actually feel loved by their agent. They, you have to, like, well, I really don't love my clients. It's going to be a long road for you. you. You better dig deep and find a way to love your, does your staff, do you have an assistant? Does she, does he know that you love him or her? Mm -hmm. do, does your staff know that you really, really care? And your clients, and when you start going around at that level, you can't. So I did those things at Remax. I went to the John Maxwell seminars. I went to the Tony Robbins seminars. I went to Craig Proctor, Mega Camp, Remax's annual convention, Brian Buffini. Amazing. This was all good stuff. NAREP, ARIA, Women's Council, Realtors, you know, top producer panels at the board. I did it all and it worked. I was a top dog in real estate, sold a lot of real estate, made millions of dollars in real estate. But what does it mean moving forward? Nothing. All my income came from this one activity. And I'll share this. I mean, obviously I made income and you buy assets and hopefully you don't buy depreciating assets. You buy appreciating assets. But, you know, here's the deal. It's all about leverage. Like if you're just working with buyers, which was me, I spent my first 10 years working with buyers. I got a few listings and I found out real quick, if things aren't going well with the sale of their home, they get angry at you. What are you doing to market my home? And you didn't take a picture of the laundry room and you didn't mention the half bathroom. It was seven bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms. You marketed my home as a seven bedroom, seven bathroom home. And my coworker pointed out that you were neglectful and I, and then it was like, oh my God. And, and you know, the angle of the backyard picture and they start nitpicking you. And I just didn't like that. I didn't like the way sellers treated me. So I worked with buyers for a decade, but here's the problem after so long getting yanked from soccer practice or the soccer <laughs> tournament or softball or little league or the birthday party or the Christmas party or your own anniversary. I'm leaving tomorrow for Cabo San Lucas to go spend five days with my wife to play golf, enjoy the spa, the beach, the pool, have adventures, just my wife and I, nobody else. And we're going to have a great time, but here's the deal. I remember, you know, being working buyers, they're yanking on you on vacation. So you got to leverage and then you, so you got to become a listing agent. And then 
after you become a listing agent, I, I spent two years dedicating myself. If there was a podcast or a YouTube clip or some sort of event, I would interrogate people. Joseph, how'd you do it? Leo, how'd you do it? You know, and I would I would go through and beg people to explain to me how they get sellers to call you. And you know what? You know what happened after two years? People called me every day to list their home. See, write this one down. Hope is not a strategy. Putting feet to your dreams, goals, and aspirations is. So I humbled myself. I said, look, you're in West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm in Northern California. I'm in Sacramento. You're in San Diego. I'm in Sacramento. You're in Reno, Nevada. I'm in Sacramento. You're in Detroit, Michigan. I'm in Sacramento. Give me your best leads. Like, what is it you do? You have 60 listings. I can't even imagine having 60 listings when you're not a listing agent. Like, how do you do it? And some people have this Craigslist, like Bill Boone had this ad he read on Craigslist. I swear when he gave me a secret, he was looking left and right like he was giving me the keys to Fort Knox. He's like, you got to promise me you don't tell anyone. I'm like, Bill, I promise, I promise. He's like, okay, here's the ad. And you post it three times a day on Craigslist and it rains seller leads. And he, but he was holding it like this, but I, you know, I wasn't in his market. And, and Leonard Fazio, 600 homes a year. Leonard, how do you do it? And he's looking left and right. He's like, okay. Okay, here's how you do it. But I had to want it. Do you want it? And so guess what? I went from working 50, 60, 70 hours a week, you know, selling a lot of real estate, all buyers, to I had 18 to 28 listings at all time active, a boatload pending, but I always had at least 18 to 28 for sale at all times. And let me tell you guys what this, and we're talking about leverage and how does this apply to EXP and global? I'm getting there. So here's the deal. So I would go to Monterey or Carmel or Napa. We live in Northern California. So those are our playgrounds. Yosemite, Lake Tahoe, Mount Shasta houseboating. I would go away Thursday night, be gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday, get home late Monday. And then Tuesday, I'd be making appointments to present offers on seven of my listings put five of them in escrow. I would sell five homes over the weekend and I played all weekend. I didn't show property all weekend, man. When I was a buyer's agent and I love buyers, I love them to this day. I was doing open house on Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, show them before property. I'd put a sign on the open house back in an hour. I'd go run and show property during the open house. I had a hot one I met at the open house. I'd say, meet me after the open house. I'll pick up my signs. I'll be ready at seven o'clock. I show property at seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. You're a raving maniac. Yes! Tiger Woods is a maniac. Venus Williams is a maniac. Michael Phelps is a maniac. The guy has gills, you know? I mean, here's the deal. You got to be a little crazy. It's like, oh, you just try a little bit. You'd be super successful. That simply is not the truth. You got to be passionate and full of fire and energy. And I would go to my listings, man. You want to listen with me, all these other agents, man, they're half asleep, man. Me, I drink three cups of coffee and it's not even 8 a.m. But I'm kidding. But I make fun with them. I go, no one will outwork me. I will turn over every leaf, every rock. I'm networked with 80 of the top agents in Sacramento and we're, we have cash buyers that come from the Bay Area and so man if you're in Valencia so LA or you're in this part who are the people who come there and spend big money and you go and that's who you market to do it on Facebook it's cheap 20 30 dollar ad I sent out to 80,000 PhDs and engineers and people that can afford this is my group and this is why you want me I'm going to sell your home Give me a chance. I want this listing. So will you sound desperate? There is a chance that you could sound desperate, but you know what? When I got 10 listings in a row, they're like, you're different. You are different. I go, yep, I'm different. And I got you. I got you. And you look at me, smile, look at me, tell me no. <laughs> Try to be mad at me. You guys got to smile more when you talk. You can't like think, be angry at me right now. Go ahead, go ahead. That's a cheesy grin. You got to work on the cheesy <laughs> grin. I'm writing my new book, um, Born to Sell, chapter seven. Get a cheesy grin, man. People, you know, learn to smile. It disarms people. Don't take yourself so serious. Like go for it with reckless abandonment. You know what? Some of you are struggling right now. I'll give you this little freebie. And this does not have anything to do with going global, but it will have something to do with you surviving right now. Have you talked to 200 people about buying or selling a building? Because you, you can refer it to a commercial agent and get like a $40,000 commission check. That's not a bad thing. A business, leasing, retail, office space, or residential real estate. So obviously, buy, sell, buy, sell, residential real estate. That's the last thing I put on there. You need to go through those little 
And they go, nah, I don't want to buy a home. I got my forever home. I do want to sell my dentist practice in West Covina and move it to North Covina. Building's probably worth about $3 million, but North Covina, where, where I want to buy it, they're going like $5 million. Well, that's $8 million worth of real estate. And then you refer it to your, your, um, your um, commercial real estate agent. You don't have to do it. I have a partner who is X. Meet anybody. It could be a anybody. And then you get in there. All of a sudden they list a $3 million building and they sell a $5 million building and you get a 25% referral fee on $8 million worth of real estate, which by the way, I'll just tell you right now, it's about $60,000, $60,000, $70,000 check. And so, but did you talk to 200 people in the last 10 days? You probably didn't. And it's easy. You do 20 a day for 10 days. Could you talk to 20 people a day? Yes. Will you? Probably not. Cause you don't have a goal to do it. But you say, I'm going to do 10 a day. And if you do that for 10 days, you'll talk to 200 people. You're going to have listings and buyers. End of story. End of story. End of story. Like done deal. So that's the now game. But then leverage is you become a listing agent. And then how do you leverage more? You build a team. I built 45 buyers agents on my team at Remax in 2005 when teams weren't even a thing. I had 45 agents pulling my sled. Because, oh my God, how did you manage all that? It must have been a nightmare. You must have been working 24-7. I had 13 full-time employees, W-2 employees. We had a conference table just like this one. And everyone spin around and come to the table. The table's in the middle of the office. I'm like, okay, who's got staging? Who's got the lock boxes? Who's got the sign up? Who's got the ad copy? Who's doing internet leads? Who's going to call the roofer, the pest inspection, the home inspector? Boom, 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 boom. And we go, okay, that's been 10 minutes. We spin around and go back to what we we're doing. We killed it. I go into work at 10, 11, and leave at one or two. And I worked Monday through Thursday, and I didn't even get in until Monday afternoon. I never worked so little. It's called leverage. So you're yes. a listing agent, then you become a listing agent, then you get so many listings that your listings have babies, like teenagers. Teenagers can have babies. Listings have babies. You, and, and we don't always want our teenagers to have babies, right? But you want your listings to have babies, and they're going to have babies whether you want them to or not. They're like yes. teenagers. So here's the deal. You get sign calls, family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, open house leads, internet leads. It all spins off that sign in the yard and what's going on. So listings have babies. I was thinking like, I need a buyer's agent. I need two. I need three. Well, it went so well. I went all the way to 10, then 20, then 30, then 45. And so I built this huge machine and man, you must feel busy. I was busy when it was just me, but then you get leverage and then you, know, okay, what's the next step? You buy a century 21 franchise, a Remax, a Keller Williams. I think you get four or five, six of those. And then the market shifts. And we just saw Keller Williams go bankrupt. Keller Williams went bankrupt throughout LA and San Francisco and San Jose. They have 17 franchises. It was KW advisors, not Keller Williams, but KW advisors. Yeah. Who yep. owned, so I'll correct that statement. Keller Williams did not go bankrupt. Keller Williams advisors who own 17 of their franchises. 1700. Yeah. Mm -hmm. these, yeah. You'll, be, you'll be successful. And I, uh, I thought it was 2200 agents. Was it not? Am I really? Not maybe, uh, maybe, was, maybe you are, maybe you're correct. I, I think it was like 1.7, 1. 1. 1.7 billion in production. It was a lot. Yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. That's, and they that's, went that's, bankrupt because of this thing called yeah. overhead. And so just because you buy a Cobalt banker or a Sotheby's or a Keller Williams or a Remax franchise, you got overhead. Like, they, they, they were killing it and they failed. Yes. And so really what EXP did was it allowed you to play the long game without the risk and the overhead. I am not the broker of record for 40,000 agents. I don't go to arbitration, litigation, mitigation. I don't go to a small claims court in front of the judge and argue for an earnest money deposit to be returned to my buyer from the seller that my seller should keep it from the buyer. I don't have to do any of that. And neither do you. EXP handles that. They have seven, eight, nine brokers in many of the big states. And they're there. The phenomenal best brokerage support I ever had in my life. But here's the deal. It en enabled me to tell 25 of my friends in Roseville, California. Where's Roseville? Suburb of Sacramento. Sacramento, California, 25. And then they told their friends in the Bay Area and LA. They told their friends in Mexico City and Australia and the UK and Portugal. I've never told anyone internationally, but I'm in all 50 states, every province of Canada and 24 nations worldwide. The sun never sets my business. So if you want to go global, think local. Tell people where you live. LA is a cultural melting pot. I know- Yes. You guys are all down in LA. I'm, on, I'm up in Sacramento. Sacramento was voted the most diverse city in, in America. 
my 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 little Sacramento. And so I now have hundreds of agents in Mumbai and throughout India selling resorts, selling buildings, selling homes, and I get paid out of India. I've never even been there. I've only talked to them a few times on the phones. This is for you too. I have I have thousand agents in South Africa, Cape Town, Johannesburg. They're all ex Remax agents, Keller Williams agents, and Sotheby's agents. They fled Remax, Keller Williams, and Sotheby's to EXP. Same thing in the Hawaiian Islands. Um, Keller Williams was the number one brokerage, followed by Remax, followed like great Hawaiian real estate or something. Now the number one brokerage in four flat years is EXP. I mean, there were nobody. Talk about Seabiscuit coming around the right hand corner. Here comes Seabiscuit. You know, here comes the miracle, right? And what, what yep. EXP is, is agents. It's agent owned. We own 50% of the company. It's agents. You're like, well, I work for Sotheby's and they're number one in luxury. That's great. But what are you? <laughs> I got nothing in escrow. You know, it's like, that's great. You're, you work for Keller Williams and they have 180,000 agents. What does it mean to you financially? It meant nothing to me after nine years. I love the culture. I love the people, but it's like renting a home for nine years and saying, I love this home. It's on the ocean. The owner of the home cleans the pool chemicals, mows the lawn, edges it, blows off the lawn, gets the leaves off and the little grass trimmings off. And he's so good to me. And I pay my rent month after month after month. And, and you really like it. Yeah. And you left after. Yeah. What do you have? Nothing. I hope I get my security deposit back. I have a $5,000. Your biggest dream is to get your security deposit back. You trade wow. Cow for magic beans. You traded the cow for magic beans. We tell our clients, don't lease the building, buy the building. Don't lease the house, buy the house. Don't be a renter, be an owner. You know, liability equity, you know, asset liability, you know. And mm -hmm. so that's where it is. And that's what EXP is. It allows you to be have a seat at the table of ownership. You become an owner at EXP. You win stock awards, you win revenue shares. So if you want to go global, I suggest you stay local. You know, yes, that's great if you know yes. somebody in India and you know somebody in Israel and Tel Aviv. I mean, for sure, tell them. I'm just telling you, if you will go out and tell 25 agents in the next five months about EXP and help them join, you'll be global. It will grow yep. globally. And, mm -hmm. and my first year, I was in 28 states. Year two, I was in all 50. I mean, can I start Brinko Real Estate, which I was going to do in Sacramento and be in 50 states in two years? I'd have to have 50 brokers. I'd have to have 50 corporations. I'd have to have 50 bank accounts. I'd have to have 50 offices. Mm -hmm. That's just one office per state. I mean, it's a miracle what EXP did. And yes. what Apple did and what Google did and what Facebook did and what Netflix did and what Uber did and what Amazon did and what EXP is doing. It is a miracle. And this is for you. You say, but I love Century 21. I'm super loyal. That's like saying I'm loyal to my landlord. I live in an apartment complex and he's a really good <laughs> man. He says, thank you, please. He brings me a cup of coffee. Life is good. Don't be loyal to your landlord. I mean, I get it that you love your broker and he's cared for you. I remember when I left Remax and went to Keller Williams, Maureen Barker, regional director said, hey, don't you apologize? Because I felt bad that my Remax friends were, tell me about Keller Williams. Why are you going to Keller Williams? I'm like, no, I'm going for these reasons. And so I, oh, time out, coffee break. No hey. worries, no worries. I love it. I love Except the energy. Wait, 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 One of my key takeaways was like this, uh -huh. Brent. I was like, is everybody wants to build global in here? Authenticity and energy. Yeah. authenticity and energy are superpowers guys like if you guys want to build a massive global organization you start local and you are authentic and energetic yeah. i will i'm like when you were doing that smile I was like i can't say no to this guy there's no way i can say no to brent you can't right? say no to me you can't say <laughs> no i'm gonna love you guys. i'm gonna <laughs> love you more than your broker more than your sales manager i'm gonna become more valuable to you than your sales manager your team leader at keller williams your regional director your op your franchise owner because no one's gonna love you like i'm gonna love you and then i back it up and so it is yes. so exciting you know what you you are months away from turning your life upside down within four months i was making twenty seven thousand a month in revenue share Within 13 months, it was $55,000 a month in revenue share. But I approached it like this and I did it. I called people Fridays from two to five, three hours. You get eight, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I carved out three hours. It was sacred. It was like religious. It's like, you come list my $10 million ranch. Nope. 
I have a commitment. What am I doing? I'm calling Bob at Century 21 to see if he wants to have a, a stock awards and rev share and check out EXP. Bob's like, oh, no way. I'll die in a gold coat. Okay, Bob, love you. <laughs> Next person, I called Cobalt Banker. I got blue in my veins. I'll die with blue in my veins. My mom said that to me. She was a Cobalt Banker agent. <laughs> I will die with blue in my veins. And she was kidding my mom, but she's... <laughs> 25 years, they were good. And when they retired, EXP didn't exist. And my dad's like, I'm so excited for you that you have this opportunity. But I'm telling you, you're like, well, I tried it. It was hard. That's like saying I tried a diet and I could never lose weight. Right. Um, I tried radio twice and failed. The third time I succeeded at a very high level. And radio is how I got the phone ring every day for listings. I learned that from a guy named Jay Kinder in a lot in Oklahoma, the number one Cobalt Banker agent in the world. Oh, why did he share with you? Maybe because I got on a plane from Sacramento, flew to Oklahoma City, then drove in some rancher in his truck. I don't even remember how it was like. I think I was <laughs> holding chickens. And we went all the way out to Lawton. And I sat there and Jay, can I just sit in your office? Can I sit? in your office and just sit there and shadow you. And I watched him for an entire day. He was, yeah, come on out. And he watched me for a day. He just sat there and watched me like those two yahoos right there. He did, <laughs> that was me. That's what I did. I sat there and I watched him and I realized he sells 600 homes a year from the radio. So I said, Jay, can I talk to your radio guy? Matt Wagner, radio and TV. It was just Matt Wagner. He had one customer, Jay Kinder. Now Matt's in like 500 major markets. He's a multimillionaire, successful guy. I was agent number two. I said, he was, I never thought about doing it in another city or state. He came to Sacramento, set me up. I became the number one Remax agent in the, uh, well, in California. I wish the world, number 11 worldwide. 11, three means 11. Number 11 worldwide, okay? And, and so copy, emulate success. But so here's, here's what I want to say to you. If you will dedicate yourself to making calls three hours any day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I chose Friday two to five. And then I said, meet me next week for a cup of coffee. Meet me next week for a coffee cup. We're going to talk. Meet me next week. for No, I'm too busy. No, okay, me. Okay, yeah, I'll meet you. How about you? No, I'm too busy. How about you? Yeah, I'll meet you. And people agreed. And I had an appointment each morning at 7.30 for coffee, sometimes seven, sometimes eight. And I did it in title companies and mortgage companies, title companies, because they have beautiful glass conference rooms. I could shut the door at a restaurant. You can't shut the door at Pete's Coffee and Tea and Starbucks. You can't shut the door. I controlled the environment and I pressed play and I showed them the model explained. I brought a bagel and some coffee. We broke bread. We drank a little coffee and I signed up 25 people in five months. At the same time, I listed 25 homes. I bet you, you guys out here, you'd be thrilled to list 25 homes right now in the next five months. Like, that'd be good, right? I did that. What does that pay me today? Nothing. It pays me nothing. It was a waste of time. What you want to do is, 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 is like, I want to rent a house for five months. I get it. You got to sell. You got to play the short game. It's the now money. I got bills now. I got car payments now. I got mortgage. I got rent. I got credit. I got kids in college. I have five kids in college right now. We're going to pass the hat when we're done for me. I'm kidding, but I actually have <laughs> in college. I mean, it, like some of them, it's Honolulu. The the it's 4,500 a month for the apartment. Doesn't count college. Doesn't count stuff. I mean, that's just one. It's one. And, and so I get it that you have bills. I get it that you make money now. And so apply this kind of passion and energy. I don't know if I can do it. You can do it. You can. Listen, 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 I can do this, man. They got nothing on me because those are the things I decided to do my whole life. As a dishwasher at 19, listen to Zig Ziglar tapes in 1983 when the other dishwashers made fun of me because I had the Sony Walkman. I remember Guardians of the Galaxy, Chris Pratt, he's dancing, dun, 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 dun. he's dancing with the Sony Walkman he puts on. That's what I had in 1983, but I was listening to Zig Ziglar. I wasn't listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire, whatever cool vibe that was. And they made fun of me. They're like, what are you, some cult? What is that? You're in some cult. They literally, they would smoke pot in the alley. And I would, I'm listening to Zig Ziglar for hours and hours and hours making minimum wage. So things are paying me to learn how to become successful. And then I set goals and I kept a positive attitude and I put the work in and it worked every single time without fail. And as a Christian, I got on my knees and asked God for help. I, that's my little secret sauce. You know, that people don't really talk about that. But for me, I did. You do what you want. You want to thank the stars? Awesome. I just thank the one who I believe put them there in the heavens. So, Amen. But you, Amen. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so I'm going to open this up for Q and A. I think yeah. I have the water on some. I have time. a, I love it. I love it. And I have a, I have a, a quick question. I know probably Jazz and, and Joseph have a quick I question, but I like look. So, so one of the things, man, like let's bring it to everybody that's in this call right now. They're like, okay, how can I replicate what Brand's done? You've got the two, two to five on a Friday. 
So let's just give them some practical things like what is it you're saying on the phone uh, to get the get the coffee meeting, right? And and I, I guess just give them that little rundown of how you've done that because you know with forty with people got to think about you're building a global business. You got forty thousand agents all over the globe. That's referral checks paying you every single month. I mean it's it's a it's an extraordinary opportunity for the for for obviously the amount of work that you did to get there. So let's talk about that practicality, right? If you incorporate it, if they want to incorporate it in their business, what do they got to do? So there's two ways to do it. The direct approach, we go straight at them. Jasmine, I know you've heard about EXP, right? Oh, no, not actually. But you feel like I've seen some stuff. I really don't know much about it. I said, I'm dying to have a cup of coffee with you next week. I, you, I respect you. You're one of the agents I respect. I look at you as a pillar in the real estate community. Can we meet next week and have a cup of coffee? I'd like to show you why this company shattered every record ever set by a factor of four. They didn't lap people. They didn't trip those quadruple what they did in a fourth of the time. And there's a reason EXP is going to have a million agents worldwide. It's owned by the agents. I have friends who have millions of dollars worth of stock. Can we meet next week for a cup of coffee? She goes, sure. I go real short. I got a brilliant short video. I want to say I meet with them. And then I press play on the modelexplain.com, which was an hour long, right? Now it's 36 minutes long. My new one's 36 minutes long. Just press play. You, you look for people who go, that's what yeah, you're like. yeah. I watch them. I watch their face. They go, some people look at it and go, yeah, not for me. And I'm fine. Like, what do you do then? I go, hey, awesome. Just do me a favor, Jasmine. If you write an offer on an EXP listing, call me. I will probably know the agent and I'm going to call Joseph. I'm going to call the owner. I'm going to beg him to take your offer. Is it okay if I do that for you? Like, well, Brent, I'm not coming to you. I love that. We're friends. I love you. I care about you. You could stay at Century 21 or Remax or Compass or Subbies for the next 30 years. And I'm going to go to the mat every time you write an offer to an EXP agent. I will go, Joseph, how many offers you got? I got five offers. You know any of the agents. I don't know any of the agents. Well, I know Jasmine. And she is salt of the earth. And if you're lucky enough to get an escrow with her, you're going to have a really positive, smooth experience so i recommend if the favor to me can you give her some love and show her how to win like tell her exactly what she needs to do to adjust her offer to win would you do that for me i do that to him and guess what i actually do these things i don't have a negative way there's no way it's like god this guy I told him no and he still wants to help me yes mm -hmm. that is it you love and help people not just because they come to xp because you are a giver takers take givers give yeah. You guys are givers. So that's what I would do. And then some people go, they go, oh my God, how do I know more? Oh, you got to meet my partner, Joseph. You got to meet my business partner, Jasmine. Jasmine has helped me so much. She's a, she's like one of those special people in life. You have to meet her. Do you have, do you have five or 10 minutes later today to do a Zoom? It's, it's not next week. Everyone write this down. Time decay will kill you. I was like, it was always, and then you go, look, I'm showing property. I cannot. I go, good, tomorrow morning. You have to meet Jasmine tomorrow morning. Well, I go, I go, it's five minutes, Joseph. Come on, you can do it driving down the road. Just pull over or whatever. Okay, okay. And so I was nicely kind of pushy, and, but not a timeshare challenging way. And I, 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 I'm every 24 hours, we're talking to somebody after they meet Joseph. Oh, you got to meet Leo. Leo Robles, man. He's like the... He's like another version of Tony Robbins. I love Leo. He's like a special human being. You got to meet him. And he also has this cool looking beard. He looks like the world's most interesting. Man. <laughs> and so he's, he is, I, I say crazy stuff. I go, Jasmine has a smile that will just melt your heart. You're going to see why she's, she's got a twinkle in her eye. You got to meet. And so if you're not getting people to meet with your partners, not your upline, not your sponsor, never say the word upline. Never, never say the word sponsor. Stop it. There were partners. Don't, don't make it worse. And it's five or 10 minutes. Now we end up talking for 20 or 30 because they're going to fall in love with Joseph. They're going to fall in love with Leo. They're going to fall in love with Jasmine. And so you're like, well, I don't want to bother them. Man, I wore out my sponsor, Sheila Fairshawn. After two months, she's like, I got to get back to work. But she makes $500,000 a month now because of me, not a year, a month. She earns $500,000 a month. I see it. Um, and she spends about 20,000 a month on her business. So she's netting 480,000 a month. And it was two months that, and then Rob Flick lost his voice talking to people for me, he actually lost his voice. See, I, 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 they said they'd help me. I'm like, let's go. I go to Safeway. I'm like, where's the bread? I don't look for the bread. Where's the milk? I don't want to waste one second. What, what aisle's the mustard on? I realized I could look around. Just tell me where the mustard is. I want to go. Time is money. Let's go. And so you got to have a sense. I sit down in a restaurant. I order. I go, we're going to order right now. <sighs> Boom. I'll talk for an hour, but I order. I, I go, you have a sense of urgency in your life. 
And so, you know, they talked to Jasmine on, on Thursday. They talked to Joseph on Friday. They talked to Leo on Saturday. They talked to me on Monday. They talked to whoever you can get. You got friends and you put them in front of people. It's like, I can't stand anymore. I want to move. I go, awesome. Welcome. Come to, come to Las Vegas. Come to our annual convention. If you're there and you're not going to Las Vegas, you are lost. You're lost. Come to Las Vegas. I want to hang out with you. I've never missed of an event. We EXP has one event a year and you're about to miss it. You cannot miss it. You, if you want to be successful, you hitchhike to Las Vegas. You ride a bike to Las Vegas. You do whatever it takes to get to Las Vegas. Share a room with somebody. Sneak in and be a waiter and get in for free. I can't afford 900. Sneak in. I don't know. Do what you got to do, man. Don't do anything illegal or bad like that. But you, you get my point. It's like, I'm going to do this. And you will fall and fall and fall and fall forward. And your mm. goals it will, not, it will not elude you because we're going to help you. And you're like, you're just kind of crazy nuts. Yes. I'm crazy nuts about you. I'm crazy in love with you. I read Francis Chan's book, Crazy Love. Have you read the book, Crazy Love? And about what it means to really be selfless, not selfish. And to, to like, I told my daughter, I said, hey, when you're dating a guy, watch and see how he treats the hostess at a, at a restaurant when they're late or they made a mistake. Watch how they, she treats, he treats the waiter or the waitress or the bus boy. What does he, does he, does he recognize him? Cause if he treats them bad, cause he's frustrated, he'll do the same thing to you. If, if he gets snarky and throws a fit, does he get, does he get involved in road rage? Is he, is he the angry driver? Does he go crazy? Cause that will come to you. Watch very, does he get your door? You know, does he get your door? Does he get your door? And I, I said, just watch. Cause of course with you, he's got his best foot forward. Oh yeah. I mean, I did the same thing when I met my wife. I certainly wasn't trying to be, you know, I wasn't trying to be a, whatever. I was just like, Hey, how are you? Boy, you're beautiful. And, let me go. <laughs> and I, my best foot forward, you know, and then, and then it settles into the real Brent Gove, the real Leo, Jasmine, Joseph. And so we're not perfect, but I'll tell you what, I think people fail. Mm -hmm because they're not willing to fail. Uh, they don't want to get mm. muddy. They don't want to scuff their chin and face plant. Man, I face plant. I failed so much. That's why I'm successful. The yeah. key to success is actually failure. The key to success is actually looking like a fool. Well, I don't say it right. I know, neither did I. But then I started saying it okay. Then I started saying it pretty good. Then I started saying it well. Then I started saying it really well. Then I'm like, oh, I nailed that one. Then I'm like, boom, that was money, baby. But I had to start back there. Everybody does. You look at John Maxwell now. You look at Francis Chan or Dr. Lance Wall now, or Leo Robles or Jasmine or Joseph now. But you didn't see them when they started. And they were willing to go through that. So I told my kids, I got eight of them, fail with velocity. Just try stuff. Go for it. And they do it again and again and again. And find what you're passionate about. And I'm passionate about people. I love people. I want you to break breakthrough and make it. And so that's why I'm like this. Anyways, more questions, whatever you want to go. Yes, with. I actually have a question for you, Brent. Uh, and I really have been thinking about this. So... A lot of brokers feel like, you know, they have, everyone has their in ego, right? And so as a broker, when you are seeing this opportunity, that can be taking you away because this is your baby that you created. So what would you tell to a broker that works so, so hard to open their own brokerage, but then they see XP and so now they feel like they're almost, uh, I don't know, like losing something, right? But in yeah. reality, you're gaining the world literally in the palm yeah. of your hand. So what would you say to that broker? Facts tell, stories sell. You know, tell them about Chuck and Angela Fazio. They brought their 700 agents to ESP. Now they have 7,000. They would never had a 7,000 agent. Bro. I brought 18 agents 18 months later at 1,800. Had 1,800, right? Uh, I know people. And so tell the stories. Facts tell, stories sell. Tell stories. Number two, you're still looking for people, as Gene Frederick says, whose gates are open. And so it's hell no, hell no, hell no, hell no. Something happens, hell yes. And so it's it's timing. Like I told my daughter, she just moved to Montana. She was visiting there in June, jumped off a cliff with some stranger in a parachute, 
like the people around, aren't you nervous? She just met that guy. They're going to literally jump off a cliff. I got, I got eight kids. I got backups. I'm good. But anyway, so just, <laughs> but anyway, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. She loved it so much in the Grand Tetons and Big Sky Country and, and Whitefish, Montana. She moved there. She's there right now and she has wow. to get a job. And so I gave her advice on getting a job. I, I sold her two things. Number one, go talk to 30 businesses today, not three. You talk to three, probably not going to get a job. You talk to 30, someone's going to give you a job. And you tell them, I'll work the first week at no charge. Do not pay me. I'll let you take me for a test drive. I will show up late. Stay. Show, show up late. I will show up late. I will show up late. <laughs> can't take yourself yeah, like, serious. Like, I've only had half a cup of coffee. I will show up early. <laughs> stay late. Do more than you pay me to do. I'll be the best employee you ever hired. And I'm so confident that I'll, I'll come to work for the next five days at zero cost to you. And if you're not blown away with who I am and my, what I do, and I'm going to love all the other agents here, all the other employees, I'm going to love them. I'm going to be a team player. I'm going to raise the temperature in your business. Give me a chance. I don't know about you. If I was an employer, I'd be like, and I did that 35 years ago. And I went from a dishwasher to a job paying 40,000 a year with benefits from a dishwasher. You know what he said to me is, well, we got to pay you a minimum wage. We can't not pay you. Is but I love your attitude. I go, I read books by Zig Ziglar. You know, I read books by Jim Rome. I read books by, um, you know, Success, the Glenn Bland Method, uh, Dale Carnegie. I, I'm really into like trying to be better so I can serve you more. And he's like, dude, you're hired. There were 28 people. I didn't know squat, but people are looking for some moxie and some attitude. And I said, if you talk to 30, you'll probably have three job offers today. And people simply don't talk to enough people. So it, it's not like, how do I get this independent broker interested? It may not be his time yet. It, it may be hell no right now, but next week it may be hell yes. So you have to stay in his life. So how do you do that? You invite him to our business planning clinic coming up in November that Leo's going to put on. Leo's going to do a business planning clinic in November. Now I don't know that, but I, I think he should. Done, and done doing, deal. It's the most well-attended thing we do. We'll, we'll have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of agents come. And the biggest events in Sacramento, California are not Keller Williams or Lions or Remax or their EXP by a factor of 10, all the title reps. Somebody that's unbelievable how much energy you guys have. You guys are actually excited and you're selling them like, yeah, we're leading the way. And, and it is so exciting to be a part of this. And so here's what you do. When you come to the business planning clinic in November, you bring 10 or 15 agents with you. And they go, well, Jasmine, you just want me to join EXP. And then Jasmine, <laughs> you say to me, it's like, oh, look, you're forbidden to ever join EXP. Stay at Keller Williams for the next 30 years, but come to our business planning clinic. Yes. We're from this superstar, Bill Pipes, who in my opinion is the number one real estate trainer in America. And you get to come for free. I'm going to scholarship you. And I want you to go back to Sotheby's, go back to Keller Williams and crush it for the next 30 years. You do not need to come to EXP. In fact, I, I kid around joke with them. I go, Jasmine, I forbid you. You can never come. <laughs> I say with a smile. I go, would you just get over yourself and come to this? And this is about, what's it about? It's about your kids because you suffering, your kids yeah. suffer. You prosper and do well. You're going to put your kids oh, in private goodness. schools, get them tutors, get them on the traveling volleyball team that you couldn't afford because you're suffering and you'll be able to do things different. I go, this is what it's about is your kids. And so I brought 33 guests to my business planning clinic and 18 switched next month. You want to put 18 on your front line? Leo's going to do a business planning clinic in November. And he's going to get Bill Pipes there to teach it. And I'll help you do that, Leo, if you want Bill. And um, we're doing Vural Workman, Workman Business Done deal. In Sacramento. And, and, but here's the deal. The speed leader terms the pace of the pack. You want your group to go, you get there with guests. And you bring more guests than anybody. And they see, oh my gosh, yeah. everyone hears. it's with Joseph. Everyone hears with Jasmine. And you'll sponsor people like crazy because you, you lead with value. You help them. You love them. You serve them. Make it not about EXP. Then they're like, tell me about EXP. They will grab you and say, I need to know. I haven't been in a group like that. The, the, the energy, the group, it was amazing. It's not what my broker told me. It's it's, it's it called banker it's not what my manager the the franchise owner told me at century 21 i go of course the, the lakers manager is not going to tell you why the clippers are better or the the, the bulls are better if, mm -hmm. if you're a 49er fan they're not going to tell you why the raiders are better in las vegas they're not going to say they're better our team is the and they should if they're at sotheby's they should say sotheby's the best brand in the world you go well i'm moving to Cobo banker oh you found them you're right they're a much better company than we are you think Ford's <laughs> gonna say oh you want to buy a chevy it is a better car than our car or is bmw gonna admit that mercedes is better no so don't be blown away by that but it is your job to get people there you can do this and then 
keep bringing them to stuff, right? Keep, we just did uh, fill your pipeline, learn how to get massive buyer leads and seller leads, had a huge panel packed and people would guess, yes. them, guess they're in, they're in. So you lead with value, help them. And then the, the EXP, so there's two ways to do it. Direct, hey, uh, let's have coffee next week. I'm dying to talk to you about EXP. I want to know what you know. I'm super excited. You could do that approach, which is what I did. And now we do, we do more, get them to the events, add so much value where they're like, I really want to know about XP. This was like, you guys didn't even talk about recruiting. I just, mm -hmm. that's all you guys talk about. And they go, tell me about it. Then you show them the modelexplain.com. Just press play. Don't do it. You got it for you. And then it's duplicatable. Like, oh, can I take that? Show? Yeah. And can I, it's duplicatable because you may be able to explain it, but if they try to go do what you did, they, they were like, I yeah. don't know. So yeah, hope that helps. But yeah. And I just wanted to say one thing, Brent, that you really tugged on my heart is, when you're not saying yes to this opportunity because of your ego or your emotions, think about the people that are losing out on opportunities because of your decision. So your yes can change thousands of lives, millions of lives. Oh. Just like Brent's yes has now changed thousands of lives. At first, it was just 120. Now we are hitting thousands. So imagine being in that position. And Brent, you know, I just want to say thank you for just being so humble and transparent and real. And I just want to say, you know, to Leo and Joseph, you two are just outstanding leaders. And I'm just yeah. so grateful to be part of such an amazing company. And I'll be honest, guys, before EXP, this smile was not smiling. Because wow. real estate was not fun to me. Real estate was actually like, oh, man, I got to do this again. And now I'm actually having fun. I'm having a great time. I don't feel like I'm working. So I just wanted to add that. Awesome. What, what Thank you, Jazz. Team. You're amazing. Do we, do we still got time? I got to get a question in, too. Go ahead. Brother. Brent, first of all, I absolutely love you, brother. Thank you for your energy and your leadership. Um and and Jazz, you touched about you know changing lives, and Brent, um, you also touched on you know how this world is so interconnected, sir. I would love for you to kind of just share the vision behind what has you know built you to thousands and helping others, hundreds of thousands of agents. How this goes global, it's economies of scale, right? And and it has to do with this model. So with this model going where it's going, how can us? How can we mirror that growth and take this global? Yeah, I think uh, two things. Number one, it's not about me and it's not about you. When you tell those 25, the key, if I could focus everybody in, it's not thousands, it's not hundreds, it's 25. Are you going to list 25 homes or sell 25 buyers? Of course you are. And what will that do for you the next 10, 20, 30 years? Nothing. But if you can, if you can list agents, not homes. I mean, I, I listed 25 homes and 25 agents. I get zero from the 25 homes. I was paid one time when they closed. And from the agents, it's millions of dollars a year. Well, that's just, you know, there's lots of people like me. There's there's many, 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 many people like me who have millions of dollars worth of stock and make millions of dollars annually by doing this. There's 20 million agents worldwide. We have 90,000. When we get to a million, we will have, um, if I'm doing the math right, 5% market share at a million. We'll have 5%. And we're going to do it. We're the only brokerage in the world that's made their agents owners, give them a seat at the table of ownership, and then sharing revenues in the billions back to the agents. And we're like the only brokerage making money right now. We're the leading in the, I mean, it's just amazing what's going on. So if I could, again, I hate to do it. There's two things you need to do. A, you can't, did I say can't? You cannot miss our annual convention in Las Vegas. It's like for you guys in LA, drive there. Everyone else I know is flying in, but fly, drive, whatever you got to do, be there. It's, it's the, um, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, October, I think, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Second. I got the number starts yep. to yep. at 9 a.m., 3rd, 4th, over Thursday on the 4th at 5 p.m. I've never missed one. And you're about to miss one. I'm talking to those you miss one. This is why you struggle. It's who you're going to meet while you're grabbing a cup of coffee in line at Starbucks before you go to the event. And they're like, oh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. You know, and you meet them. You're not particularly impressed with them. How many homes do you sell? You're about 110. You know, I mean, when you meet somebody who looks beautiful like Jasmine and Leo and Joseph, well, of course they can do it. But you meet somebody who maybe they, <laughs> you know, it's like, well, they're not, they don't look like a movie star and, and uh, you know, <laughs> and they're killing it. Sometimes it's like, okay, you, know, you hear me, I've had a cup of coffee. I'm like, and I'm, I'm, I apologize for being dialed back and mellow today. Next time I'll actually 
bring some energy and do this thing. <laughs> but um, I know I'm super. I haven't had any coffee. I know I let you down, Leo. But here's the deal. No, you're good, man. When you meet people who are have 1,100 people in the organization who make 700,000 a year passive income outside of sales, just rolling in. You know, my goal was to tell 10 or 15 people, have 80 to 100 people the first year. I ended up telling um, 25 in five months, and that led to 800 the first year and 1,800 in 18 months. And I didn't buy a region. I didn't buy that. I was able to create it. There's there's 200 plus industrialized nations with over 20 million agents wide, 20 million. We have one out of every 40 agents is an EXP agent. One out of not, 39 out of 40 are not. The opportunity is bigger than it's ever been. Broker owners franchises are not renewing. They're not renewing the Remax franchise. They're not renewing the Keller Williams franchise in the first time. They want out. Get me out. I have people who want to come to ESP so bad and they get the handcuffs for three more years at Remax, at Keller Williams, at Sotheby's. I can't. I got five more years. You don't. I, I bought a franchise. I own a franchise. No, you don't. You paid them to own you. They, you literally try to leave. Try to leave. They're like, oh, you're welcome to sell it. Why? Well, I don't know. I have a buyer right now because I'm, I'm in the black. I'm in the red. I'm like, well, can't leave. I'm like, no, I want to leave. We'll write us a check for half a million dollars to leave. I only paid two hundred thousand for the franchise. I know, but we have franchise talks. It's half a million dollars because you have seventy agents. Well, I'm not making any money with my seventy agents. I'm losing forty thousand a month. Well, we have a formula: seventy agents times ask means you have to pay us five hundred eighty thousand dollars if you want to leave. Well, I can't afford that. You're stuck. And so you guys are so lucky you do not order a franchise and we will fight for you, but you got it. You got to fight for you. Make a vote for you and come to our annual convention. It's once a year, October 2nd, 3rd, 4th in Las Vegas. The flights are free. I just flew someone in from Orlando, 162 bucks round trip from Florida, like right now. I'm, I'm, I'm flying people, in. fly people in. I will pay for you to come say that to people and, and then buy their airline ticket. You get your room, you get your pass. Guest passes are free. Get a guest pass. If you bought a ticket, you can get a ticket. There's people who have a ticket who don't have a guest, borrow their guest pass. I have all kinds of people coming. There's no charge for that and grow your business. And so um, I don't know if I answered your question, but you that's how yeah. I do it. Exactly. That's the the impact that I was uh, hoping to express to some of uh, the, the participants here. Thanks, Brent. Appreciate you, brother. You bet. Hey, thanks for having Thank me, you, Brent. guys. I have Bro, to you're go. awesome. I love you Love all. you, man. I'll Thank see you, brother. Come Bye, to man. Cabo. Come to my mastermind in Cabo, March 4th, 1,100 of us. Every one of you, buy, get your passport. That is 1,100 of us, sells that every year. Best thing we do, go to brentgove.com. Right there, brentgove.com. Click on upcoming events, go international, get all the details, Hyatt Ziva, event of the year, bring people. We'll see you there. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you, man. Brent. Thank you, guys. Thank yeah. you, Jazz. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, and for everybody else, next week, Friday, we got this, uh, this call again, and we're going to be bringing you guys some amazing speakers directly from um, their countries, the presidents of these countries. So excited about next week. This also has been recorded, so look out for the recording. It will be emailed over to all of you. But Jasmine and Joseph, thank you so much for being the co-host of this amazing event. And uh, God bless you guys, and God bless each and every single one of you guys for tuning in today. Let's go. Thank you so much, guys. And just to uh, give you guys a little details, next week we have Mexico, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. So get ready, invite everybody, and let's learn a thing or two about these amazing countries. Sheesh. Let's do it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. See ya.